Okay, looks like everything's looking good as I bounce around in my chair. Sound check, sound check. Uh, I think I want to do this. I think that'll help. Hello, hello. Sound check, sound check. One, two. Sounds good, sounds good. Oops. Here we are. BB, no, you can't have my biscuit. He's my biscuit. He's my favorite biscuit, and I love him so much. <laughs> you can't have my biscuit. <laughs> How you doing, BB? Thank you, Honest Tiger, for stopping by and dropping a like. Appreciate you. Wonderful. I'm glad you can hear me. That's always good. Let's get the reminder. Let's find out what we did last time. I know what we did last time. We turned into, like, a weird zombie pirate, and we did all these things to try to get LeChuck to take a vote to make another potion. <laughs> no, you can't have my biscuit. Although, my, my precious Princess Piper isn't feeling good. She's sick. She's been throwing up and not eating. Thank you. Yes, I have hit 300. I'm at... It's toggling between 302 and 303 currently, which seems to be pretty standard for me for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. So I'm not... I'm not celebrating the 300 until I know... Beg your pardon. Until I know it's going to stick. Because so often where I think I've got the right numbers, I start losing subs. So... Well, I'm very excited I've hit 300. I don't know that it's going to stay, so I'm just waiting to make sure it stays. And then I'll put out a post celebrating, and uh, I have a very special game set aside for the 300 uh, celebration that I'm excited about. Mm -hmm. How you doing, sweet bit, uh, BB? Is your sister still at your house, or do you guys, does she live there with you? Or did she just come over to stream and hang out? <laughs> uh, it'd be really hard to get Biscuit to stay anywhere. Biscuit's a free spirit, to be sure. I don't even know where he is right now. He's in the woods somewhere eating snakes and spiders and whatnot. Biscuit is a woodland creature. He likes to be out in the woods. I only see him at night. <laughs> That's good. Fam having a lot of family is good. My mom lives with me, and uh, my son still lives with me. It's good to have family. Alright, let's get the recap real quick, and then we'll get the game started. This is such a sweet game. You voted for this one, didn't you, BB? The uh, Monkey Island. Let's get a reminder. Kind of, but remind me a little. Okay. I had joined LeChuck's crew in disguise. The magic potion that would have taken us to Monkey Island had been ruined. But Captain Madison and her cronies were nearby in another ship, also bound for the island. We planned to follow Captain Madison's ship instead, but I still needed one thing. LeChuck's map to the secret. I would have to steal it. He's, we're going to have to steal it. Okay, so this is where we left off. Um, we got the new vote. I don't know how we're going to get the map from LeChuck. Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! It always seems to... What do we do? I don't know what to do. Hold on. Let's see what's in our bag. We, can we show him anything? I don't know. Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. I feel like the supply of paperwork is endless. I might do that, BB. All stamped. Now, please give me some peace and quiet. As you know, I have a, I have a lot of. Hey, power. I have a lot of games. Uh, I don't know where my list is. Is that it? It's over here. I found it. Never mind. I found my list. I have a lot of things on my list. Is this my list? I've lost my list. No, I'm kidding. I would never do that. Here it is. The list. How's how's you doing? I uh. I could put the I could put it on here now though. We can put the Disney thing on here now. It looked like a really sweet game. I don't know its purpose though. She just seemed to be running around doing stuff. Welcome in, welcome in. How are you guys doing today? 
Uh, Disney, Disney, Disney. Uh, hey, Keith, what's up? Mwah. How you doing, buddy? Did you have a good day at work? This, it was called Disney uh, Valley. Disney Valley. All right. On the list. All right. That way I don't forget. <laughs> I have to tell you guys, though, I'm really uh, starting to itch to play this game called uh, Psychonauts 2. Psychonauts 2. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, Keith. I'm going to turn this down a little bit because I feel like I'm yelling at you guys. I don't want to be yelling at you guys. All right. Here we are. All right, I bet this veil is what we need. So we gotta get him out of this room. What is that? Is that a squishy toy? All right. We've gotta get him out of this room so we can get that veil. That would be my guess on how to get the map from him. Mm -hmm. So we gotta somehow steal the map from LeChuck. What do you gotta say? Uh, Flair? What? How's the score going? How's the score going? It would be going a lot better with fewer interruptions. Huh. Okay, she doesn't have anything for us. Let's go in here. You make nasty food, by the way. Oh, she's a chef so now. She got her a promotion. Okay, we don't have anything to say to her to then. Cooking. Yeah. Excuse me. Pardon my my burpees. Uh, let me see. Hello, sweetheart. How are you today? Welcome in, Kristen. How was um, how was your Friday? I haven't been on Discord very much today, so I don't even know how busy it was. <laughs> I'm going to the fair tomorrow, guys, so I'm not going to uh, be available tomorrow. Um, me and my family are going to spend all day at the fair. What is happening? You don't want to be nasty. Not fighting. No, no fighting. No fighting. Sweet Kristen, welcome in, honey. So, everything's more or less ready to go? As soon as Madison's ship gets underway, we'll follow it. I myself wasn't quite ready yet, because I still needed <gasps> to steal the You got to love Chuck's on the map. puppy. Oh, yeah! Yes, Sunday. I'm going, I'm, I'm very excited. We, we, we go to the fair every year and I'm very excited about it. It's the one thing we do. It's, it's our, it's our tradition just about. I'm going to see what she said because I didn't hear it. Hey Cosmo, what's up buddy? Sir Cosmo, Sir Noble Cosmo, how are you? I enjoyed your stream. You won. You won big. That was a fun stream. Um, yeah, I'm getting distracted. So, everything's more or less ready to go? I didn't hear what she said. As soon as Madison's ship gets underway, we'll follow it. But I myself wasn't quite ready yet, because I still needed to steal LeChuck's map. Oh, yeah! We did. We saved the world together, Cosmo, and it was tons of fun. And of course, baby, you're always welcome to come to the fair. A coffee and a sandwich? <laughs> He's reading How's a joke book. book. Oh, it's very funny. I don't think I've ever heard any of the jokes before. That's wonderful. Okay, so... I need to load something in that, maybe? I might have to get a hint, because I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing. Read the sign. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Yeah, he does dinner time at Amelia's house. I actually had a dream that my family went to the UK and visited all you guys, and it was lots of fun. We rented out like this little area in a, in a restaurant. We all sat down and ate in a pub somewhere and had a good time. I actually dreamed that. I'm not kidding. Is this how it looks when you're ready to make sale? Pretty much. You want candy floss? Hi, my power. What's candy floss? Will Biscuit be there? No, <laughs> no, Biscuit's not traveling across the ocean there, uh, BB. 
Is he ready to set sail? Is this how it looks when you're ready to make sail? Pretty much. Fair enough. Okay. Well, looks like they haven't figured out their skull problem yet. Good. That's a... These things get more sophisticated every year. Would that we all <laughs> did the same. <laughs> Dream about Trireland? That's funny. <laughs> what was the dream about? I think it's just a sculpture. I hope it's just a sculpture. Okay, I, I've literally talk, talked to everybody. LeChuck, everyone. What am I supposed to be doing here? Um, I know there's a guy down below that I need to free. <laughs> no kidding. He is like a mecca of information for Final Fantasy. I was just drying lint all over the, my clothes and bedding. <laughs> just, it was everywhere. That's hilarious. That's a that's a that's a strange dream. I hear people screaming when I do that. It did win eventually. It did. I'm actually, um, I was happy with either. I, I love both games, but I'm actually happy it was this one because it's a little bit more chill and I can just sit and relax and talk to you guys. Um, that and I'll be playing Splatoon probably next weekend since there's a Splatfest. I am fighting for Team Teddy Bear. That's a real thing, I promise. <laughs> and welcome in, Cosmo. It's rare that you get to come during, um, my streams because of time zones and stuff. How is he stuck? <laughs> can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. Can I get you anything? You can get me unstuck from this runner. Thank you very much, you insufferable slug. I was thinking more like a breath mint. Ugh. <laughs> dryer, dryer lint forever in our hearts. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. Huh. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. Can I do anything else? Climb to the surface. I have to be able to do something, right? Yank and pull on him? I'm so confused. <sighs> That's good to know, Cosmo. But I get that because, you know, I have a strict bedtime too because I get up at like 5 o'clock in the morning to go to work on weekdays. There has to be a way to get that dude loose and get LeChuck's map. Oh. Can I go to the anchor and yeah, do looks something like it'd with be it? looks more useful for fishing than stopping. What is that thing doing? Okay. Let's go up here. Hmm. <laughs> Biscuit does not belong to you, BB. He's my kitty kitty. Looks like it's empty. Can I put something in it? That was fun, but it would be even better if the cannon's loaded with something. What if I was to put the skull in there? That's what they need for the potion. Okay, Murray, I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. <laughs> I do my best. I need to find enough people to become a party in Final Fantasy IV, so then I'll continue with Hogwarts Legacy. Can you share Biscuit? I can share his images. Ready for cannon fire. Like all those pictures I sent you today. That's fair, um... I better get my hands on the Chuck's map first. <laughs> you uh, okay in there, Marie? When I get out of here, I'm going to chew both your legs off and use your traitorous fingers <laughs> to hit my feet. Okay then. Just checking. How do we get LeChuck's map? I do love Hogwarts Legacy. Ugh, I love that game so much. Hello, anime. How you doing, buddy? Ho ho. Or ha ha. Hmm. <laughs> What? 
do you think you're doing, Swabby? Back where you belong. There's got to be something I give him. Does he want chicken? No, he doesn't want that. This? No. I don't think I have anything for him. How do I steal the map? I have to find a way to distract LeChuck. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, and how do you do that? No one is saying anything different. I do. Cosmopolitan is a really funny name. It's a pun on words and, and your channel. Yes, it's finally the weekend. Thank goodness. <laughs> you guys don't want to work for me? Sure. <laughs> I'm game. What do we... Okay. The bell at the top deck can be used to summon the crew if there's a way to summon the truck with it. He didn't come for the vote last time. Right? He calls us now cosmopolitan. I love it. It's almost like it's almost like he's a he's 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 an aristocrat politician, but he's also a drink. That's why he's Sir Cosmo, by the way. Sir Noble Cosmo, okay. Like a um is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Longer break times for swabbies. Quick quick time. Nine o'clock. Wine and cheese. Wednesdays. I'm gonna nominate myself to captain. Alright guys, what do you guys think? Do we want a, a longer break times? Quiet time after 10? Wine and cheese Wednesday? Wine and cheese Wednesday sounds yum yum. I nominate myself for captain. Aw, oh, thank you, Kristen, for hugging everybody. Your sweetheart. Hmm. Wine and cheese on Wednesday. I, that's the one I want to pick. I think I might go with that one. We're going with wine and cheese. Who doesn't like wine and cheese? On hump day, no less. Wine and cheese on Wednesdays. We don't have either in the stores, but I guess I can make some fresh. Aye, aye, nay, nay, nay. Aye. Motion fails. Meeting adjourned. Maybe it's the art style. All right. We need a we need a vote again. Oh, maybe if I say I want to be captain, maybe that'd get LeChuck out of his office. Let's try it. Bell. Voting hour. Oh, by the way, uh, the BB. Is to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Put in the word per. P U R. And then anyone's name. Oh, yeah, we want to be captain. Chevelle, welcome in, sweetheart. I nominate myself as captain. I nominate myself as captain. Hey, girl. Hey. Okay. Just a thought. Meeting adjourned. Okay, so that didn't work. Yes, happy birthday to Shannon Doherty. Uh, Prue Hollowell herself from Charmed. We love her. She is a fabulous 54 today. I've always loved Shannon Doherty. One bell. Voting hour. <laughs> Chelsea's going to hit this? you. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Uh, longer breaks for swabbies? This one. Eliminate the unanimity rule for voting. That's the one where everybody has to vote aye or we don't do the thing? I think it's holding us back. Aye. Aye. Nay. 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 Aye. Motion fails. Meeting adjourned. Maybe if I do enough voting, he'll come out and ask what we're doing. Like, why are we voting all the time? Yeah, Alyssa Milano is a prior. Biscuit is your best friend. Did you like those pictures I sent you, BB? 
The one of him stealing marshmallows, I used to have a video of it. Are there any matters to be voted on? <laughs> okay. Longer break times for swabbies. Seriously? You've been on a break since we left port. Then I'd like to continue that. Fine. We'll vote. Nay. 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 Aye. Motion fails. Meeting adjourned. You guys are my friends. <laughs> All you guys are my friends. One bell, voting hour. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to It was a very on? sweet, cute game. Um, what is your goal in that game, though? I was really confused on what your actual purpose is. I saw you cleaning up all of, like, the gloom and stuff, but since I was working and watching, I'm not really sure. I, I missed the part where it tells you, uh, what your purpose is. Like, what, what's your goal? Quiet time after 10 o'clock. You don't like my banjo playing? Uh-oh. It riles up the chickens. Aye. Aye. Nay. Aye. Nay. Aye. Motion fails. Meeting adjourned. Okay, so we don't have any more things to vote on. So let's try the bell. It said to use the bell. Y'all saw it. LeChuck still has not come out of his room, so let's see. Let's try it again. One bell. Voting hour. <laughs> Biscuit the should. meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Shuffleboard facilities on deck. Shuffleboard facilities on deck. We did try that once before. It was fun, but it didn't end well. Aye. Aye. Nay. Nay. Aye. Gotcha. That's... Aye. Motion fails. Meeting adjourned. That's kind of what I thought, but I wasn't really sure. Do you get to customize your, your avatar, or is it the same avatar for everybody? I don't understand what's going on with this bell. I've hit this bell so many Didn't times. Didn't we just do this? The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? We should get uniforms. We should get uniforms. Yay! Okay. Just a Biscuit, thought. Biscuits. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> Biscuit likes to steal things, put his feet in people's drinks, and knock things off the counter. That's what Biscuit does. I, I'm not even kidding. He really will. If you leave your drink on the counter or anywhere else, this sit's going to wash his feet in your drink. He doesn't care what it is, but he's washing his feet in it. It's just the way he is. He used to... I've caught him... Like, he used to have these little tunnels that went all the way around. They were circular, and they had little holes where he could get in, and it was, you know, a circle. And I am not kidding. If we lost something in the house, the first place we went were to his tunnels. And every time we lost something, there was our stuff. Rather it be a remote control, socks, loaf, a loaf of bread. He stole a loaf of bread once. He's a character. And his favorite person, his, fa his best friend is actually our dog, Loki. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. So how do I... Did that work? Ooh, nice bell ringing. That time again already? Well, let's get to it. An entire Not loaf, yes. Order, you murdering, traitorous dogs. Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 flee, you wanna die. Blah, blah. I didn't know I could move. That's cool, Chabelle. You can get different outfits. Okay, I think... Wait. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. It's not much of a map. There's just well, some writing it. on it. Well, take it! But it's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. Ooh, if I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. 
It's not much of a map. How do I take it? It's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. So take it already! I don't understand! We're here! We're in his office! How do I take the map now? It, it won't let me take it. It much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. Give me the map! It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. Put it in your pocket! Oh, do I drag and click? Put in bag. Uh, I'll put this down here. Yeah, this isn't remotely like a map. You'd notice it right away. <gasps> Wait. Oh, oh, no, put that down. What about this? A map's a map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. There you go. I just need to get Madison a skull, and we'll be good to go. Okay. Finally. I put the map to the mop. Tree. In conclusion, shape up or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass. All Ooh, right. Same I time wouldn't be able to drive. Then. Dismissed. 50 mile per hour ends would blow my car everywhere. I get that. We are making progress. Cosmo, we are. We are making progress. We gotta shoot the skull. You're a good key, sweetheart. No worries. Oh, oh! What up, your clutch? Welcome on in! No, Biscuit's not here, BB. <gasps> She's underway. Now we get to follow! Sail, sail the ship forward. Our mateys, get out the rum. We're nearly there, me hearties. We're the almost there. fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Mm -hmm. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <laughs> <laughs> They don't care. <laughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. Yay! Yeah. Hey. All right. <laughs> Yay! Extra grog. Hail the grog. Uh oh. Rainbow. We took off our disguise. Oops. You idiots! Not coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. Okay, here we go. You move like a wounded hippopotamus. I'm going to skewer you like a pig on a spit. You're at rust. You're as rusty as the butter knife you call a sword. Let's make this quick. I've got an appointment with a secret. All right, we're gonna start at the top. You move like a wounded hippopotamus. You move like a dead one. Whoa. Okay. It's my you biscuit. Come back. Why don't you try again? And Kristen might have the right idea. Maybe if you offer up Lord Biscuit a loaf of bread, he might come to you. <laughs> he loves his bread. I named him Biscuit and had no idea that he loved bread. <laughs> all right. You're all bluster and no luster. You're, you're all flavor and no savor. You're all buttress and no cutlass. You're all swagger with no dagger. Okay. You guys get to decide on which one we choose here. You're, because <laughs> these are cute. Um, you're no bluster with no luster. You're no flavor with no savor. You're no buttressed with cutlass, swagger with no dagger. One, two, three, four. Hey, Clun Troop 135, come on in. We're just now deciding on which one of these funny things we want. Buttress. We got one for buttress. <laughs> one for buttress. <laughs> buttress with no cutlass. All day. He loves Biscuit. Biscuit's cute, though. Alright, Kristen said buttress, so we're gonna go, you're all buttress with no cutlass. <laughs> you're all buttress and no cutlass. <laughs> you're all mattress and no black. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he punched us! Hey, cheating! I won that round. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. 
I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one! Oh, been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? Like a conductor's baton? He's waving goodbye. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. <laughs> this game is too much. It's so adorable. Um, they actually banter like best friends. They kind of remind me of Cosmo and Tiger. <laughs> okay, I like this one. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby! Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? <laughs> That's gotta be against the rules. It's gotta be. You really should keep up on the latest trends. Why? No! Creepy. No, no, no! Oh, oh man. Well then you're never streaming again, BB. I'm sorry, your 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 YouTube future is over. <laughs> Aw, look at us. I we think get I can still hold my breath for ten minutes. More or less. Is it more or is it less? What? You say you can hold your breath for ten minutes, but then sometimes you say eight. One time I heard you say twelve. Which one is it? Well my prime, I could do ten minutes, no problem. Are you in your prime in this story? Eight minutes. <laughs> now let you? me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. Okay. Uh, read the sign. Monkey Island, six minute walk. All right, let's go. Two minutes later. Thank you, Keith. See that, BB? I have a bodyguard. Or Biscuit has a bodyguard. We'll, we'll just came him Kevin Costner. Your name is Kevin Costner now, Keith. I'm gonna start calling you Kevin. <laughs> oh my god, there's hands! Look at the hands! I need to walk. We're gonna die. We made it to the island! My eyes are watering. <laughs> At last! Hello, Monkey Island! It's me, Guybrush! Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes. Tops! I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. <laughs> Darn it. Do you guys notice the back of his head is shaped like a heart? Aw, it's a heart with L and E someone romantically carved into the tree. That's LeChuck and El Elaine, I think. I don't know what to do here, so we're just walking around the beach. Hey, it's Murray! Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. I'll keep this for my Shakespeare summer stock. Going to the jungle, I guess. Where am I headed? It's... You don't hear much about land pirates, but they're out there. <laughs> all of the cake. You guys need to stop eating all the cake. You need to share cake. I don't know what to do here. Just a whole lot of jungle around here. Yeah, where do we go? Check out the shipwreck? Sure. Hey, there's another skull. Murray, is that you? Sorry about flattening you. Oh, it's just a spooky skull. I'll keep this for Halloween. What's wrong with the bird? Oh, he ate something. That was weird. Uh, fierce jacket rocks. Yeah, the age-old battle of rock versus hull only ever ends one way. Ugh, this really puts the wreck in shipwreck. My sympathies to the unlucky captain. <laughs> he doesn't share. Well, BB, if you don't share, I'm not going to share biscuits. says the sea monkey. Hey, this is my old ship from Monkey Island 1. Wow! Oh. The sea monkey brought me adventure and fame. Oh, I feel like this is a good omen. Uh, either that or this forgotten wreck of a ship discarded on the beach is highly symbolic. 
Smack his hand, Keith. Oh, I'd love to get the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. I don't think that you would, Keith. You love food. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. The rocks around here are treacherous. I have to be careful not to stub my toe. Can I pick that up? The rocks around bouncing. here are treacherous. I have to be careful not to stub my toe. I don't think there's anything else to do here. All right. I don't know what my purpose is yet. Let's go up here. I I'll look at that last. Oh, it's not our skull. Murray? Is that you? I probably should have left you in your crate. Oh, it's just a sea salt encrusted skull. I'll keep this in case I ever take up skull juggling. Breathtaking. Dazzling. Incredible. Amazing. Hmm. Okay, so we went there. We did this. Let's check that this. That is gazeworthy. That is gazeworthy. What's over here? Yeah, he did. He said he wasn't, though. He swore he wasn't. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about getting you mixed up in this. Oh, it's just a weird-looking skull. How many I'll keep this for no reason. skulls do we have? Grab a skull. Grab a skull. Oh, yeah, we gotta do that. Just some old skull. Just some old skull. Well, I'm no phrenologist, but just some old skull. In the trivia book. Oh, we have a to-do list here. Follow the checks map to the secret monkey island. Find the secret of monkey island and reveal. Okay, so we know that already. Return to check. No, we don't need to go there. We need to read this. Uh, excuse me. Begin your search at the red berry bush. Follow the stone monkey hand. Stick to the path by the wooden chicken. Sneak past the bees and heed the sign. X marks the spot. All right. Back to the berry bush. And we have all the skulls. Yes, thank you, Chevelle. I do. Kisses to you, too. I hope and to keep them. <laughs> I was telling BB at the beginning of my stream that so often my, my subscribes go up and down that I don't usually keep stuff. So I'm waiting a couple days to celebrate 300 to make sure it sticks. All right, Keith, get some good sleep. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. I can't believe I've made it to 300 already. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Chevelle. I appreciate it very much. All right, is that good in the monkey hand here? Big hand. Can we sit in it? That looks like a really... It's a big stone monkey part. I shudder to think about what part I might find next. Okay. It said, find your search at the red berry. Follow the stone monkey hand. Stick to the path. Buy the wooden chicken. Okay, this way. The wooden chicken is this way. You are a good YouTuber, beep beep. Thank you, Kristen, sweetheart. Thank you so much. P. Daddy Keith. Well, I think I'm changing your name to Kevin. Because <laughs> Kevin Costner is the bodyguard. I've watched a lot of your stuff, Evie. And Keith, to be honest. Um, here we go. Let's all salute. Cheers to 300 subs! Yeah, because Kevin Costner's the bodyguard, so now you have to be Kevin. It's just logical. <laughs> Alright, now I need to make sure that we go 
Stick to the path of the wooden chicken. Sneak past the bees and heat the signs. Okay, sneak past the bees, these guys. What signs? Let's just go this way. Don't hurt me, bees! Secret this way. That's pretty straightforward, which I appreciate. Good night, Keith. Ooh. X marks the spot. What an amazing stroke of luck. A free shovel to dig up the secret with. Uh-oh. I have a feeling this is going to be bad, but we're going to grab it anyway. Oh, there it is. Sweet dreams, Keith. We just got grogged. That's where all the rum went. <laughs> That's not LeChuck. You must be the smart one. LeChuck is the greenish sn snotty guy with a beard and a big hat. Oh, the trap is for LeChuck? That explains the root beer. Why would you want LeChuck when you could have guy brush? I'm a little confused about who you're double crossing. Is it everyone? Um, I like this one because it's very sarcastic. <laughs> it's like, oh, you must be the smart one. The wind is getting worse and my baby girl has to potty. Oh, no. Take an umbrella and push it against the wind. Just be careful not let it close on you cause, and, and video it because it'll be funny. <laughs> well, good night. Kiss the baby. You must be the smart one. This clown won't know LeChuck's secrets. But I guess we could torture him anyway. Wait! What was that you said about LeChuck's secrets? I know plenty of LeChuck's secrets. Maybe I can help you not torture... A okay, here, uh... We don't know any of LeChuck... We could do this What here. was that you said about LeChuck's secrets? Do you know LeChuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? Not exactly. How about his... Lookout favorite food. Lookout's favorite food. I know that one. How about the first two notes of his theme song? Why on earth would you care about any of that? I like this one. Leave this kid alone. That's right. I will tell on you, BB. I will tell your sister on you. How about his lookout's she will favorite food? I know that slap you. Not helpful. Ugh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on melee. Don't start with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. As part of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. I can see his belly button. You could just ask him. He's here on the island. <laughs> He's here on the island. Ugh, oh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. It's alright, BB. I all fun. I swallowed a lot, maybe wait a half hour. We could search his ship for information while he's gone. We could ask the crew about all that stuff. We could search his ship for information while he's gone? We thought of that, but the ship's enchanted to be unboardable. Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. I'm not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship. Probably. I mean, definitely. Yes. Fine. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map and we split the secret four ways. That's the only offer and I won't make it again. In or out. All right, guys. Do we want to know the alternatives or do we want to go ahead and accept their offer? I'm thinking we're going to accept their offer and double cross them later. You know, keep your enemies close kind of thing is what I'm thinking. Yeah. So we're 
we're gonna accept. I accept. No way! You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double-cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Double-cross them before they could double-cross me. Triple-cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool! It's Remember, <laughs> it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey head if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. Uh, they left. We were not done talking! Oh. Okay, we have to go here now. Oh, are we gonna be able to get that other dude out? Is he still stuck, I wonder? The guy that was pinned in the rudder? I thought I was gonna be able to pull him out, but I never did get to. Hey, this is shrimp! You guys hungry? This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. We'll climb it. This ship looks weird. Why does that stay afloat? We're here again. Okay, let's go see if that dude is still stuck in the rudder. Oh, they closed the thing. They closed it. So many fond, greasy memories. Right, we're not gonna go in there though, because we don't need to. I can't see anything. I know that, it's covered. We're trying to go down here. Maybe this guy knows some things about LeChuck. Drown him down, we're just- Hello again. Again? I don't know you. I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. Oh. My mistake. See you later. No, wait, I'm only joking. Hang about. Maybe you can give me a hand. Hey, Hunter! Ack, ack! Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? Do you know... Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? No. Whenever he's yelling, I get too distracted counting his teeth to pay attention. Got me Ew. in trouble a few times. Um, would you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? Would you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? I've got better things to do than watch that guy eat. Okay, what about his theme song? Do you know if LeChuck has a theme song? Does a screaming of his enemies count? I doubt it. Then no. Alright, BB, I'll see you later. Get some sleep. Dude, thanks for stopping by. I'll, I'll make sure that Biscuit knows you want to give him hugs. Did you see... You stuffed the notebook in my shirt. Let's try this one. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. Hmm. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it, it, it's poems, all right? Zombie pirate poems, but, but they're not finished. I've got some problems to work out with them still. Can I pull you out of this? Wonderful. Did you use an umbrella or did you guys just go out there and rough it? Maybe I could help you with your poem. Maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well... I am stuck in a few places. For instance, what rhymes with worms? Germs. 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 Oh yeah, that could work. All right then, I also need an idea for something that grows. A rose. Roses. I think that fits. How about a rhyme for black? Snack. Fanatic. Orange. Cracked. Orange. 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 Very avant-garde. <laughs> I would never have dared, but you're giving me courage. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but I think you, at least I can call the underwater. first volume wrapped up now. You, you are underwater, you dummy. All right. Hey. What do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? I suppose that'd be alright, seeing as how you contributed, in a small way. Let's uh, keep it between us for now, though. Don't go showing these around. I wouldn't dream of it. So we have his poems? Okay, we'll look at that have in a minute. Have you uh, finished reading my poems yet? They're just so fascinating. I'd like to spend more time with them. Oh, uh, of, of course. 
How did you get stuck on the rudder? I was just doing my job, breaking in a new swab. Uh, that's not bad. Lob, fob, gob. Oh, gob. Gob could work. Anyway, <laughs> let's just point. say that upper management took exception to my methods. And here I am. The new swab you mentioned. What was he like? Rising star? Diamond in the rough? A useless plank. I don't think he knows one end of the mop from the other. Hmm. Also, he come down here, stole a knife I was keeping in my back, and left me stuck. Didn't even try to help. Maybe if you'd been nicer to that swab, he'd have helped you. Not him. Sometimes you can just tell about people. Wow, this guy has no idea who he's talking to. Did you ever think maybe you deserve to be left down here because you're a cruel bully with self-esteem issues? We're not going to say that. We're going to move on. Enjoy your evening. Only you because... Without, without helping me, when I get out of here, I'm going to eat what little there is of your brain and use your broken ribs to pick my teeth. Great. I, we need to get our, our breath back. And I want to check out his poem book, too. All right, let's check out his poems. Here we go. Uh, read. Uh. Wow, these are really bad poems. I see why Gullet was keeping them secret. Well, that's not what I expected. Okay, we'll go back down there in a minute. Hey, Joe, what's up, buddy? Welcome on in. Join the chat. We're all having fun here being you... pirates. Uh, hi. You're not welcome on this ship, Threepwood. Mm. Okay, so we do, okay. Mm. The question is, how do we, oh, we gotta go through the porthole here. Okay, hold on, uh, open. They've sealed it shut. Oh, well, we can't go in that now. Let's go back down here. I need to be able to move the rudder. I'm back. Yeah. So, do I give this back to him? No, I don't. Have you uh, finished reading my poems yet? They're just so fascinating. What am I going to do with I'd like with to spend those? more time with them. Oh, uh, of, of course. It is a lot of fun. Did you ever think maybe you deserve to be left down here because you're a cruel bully with self-esteem issues? No. Enjoy your evening. Not likely. Hmm. Huh. There has to be a way to free this guy, I would think. Check out the rudder. Oh, it makes me go all the way down. I thought it was just going to check it out. All right. Back. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Let's go back up. So how are we going to get back on the ship? That lady kicks us off. I don't think we can climb in here. This one doesn't open. That's what I thought. And this one's been shut. So many fond, greasy memories. They've sealed it shut. That one you can't get in at all. Hmm. What if we put... Can we put... Oh no, we lost the disguise. We can't even put that back. Can we put this on our face? If you feel like Rudder Man, I think a lot of us do sometimes. Sorry about that, though. It all swimmy. Find a way to sneak back on Luckchuck's ship. This is the one we need. Double cross Captain Madison. Find the secrets of secret to Monkey Island. Okay. How do we get past this lady that's guarding? It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. Can I put it? No, we can't fight her with it. Threepwood, not so sneaky without your magic disguise, are you? Mm. Okay. Hey, another skull. Murray? Is that you? I hope this doesn't affect our friendship. Oh, it's just a soaked skull. 
Oh, I'll keep this for my Skull Club meetup. Can I go this way any further? No, I can't. Can I put the skull on my head? The new one? No. No, I don't want to go up here. I want to go back down. Hold on a second. Go back down. I want to go to the beach because I want to see if there's anything. I feel like I'm supposed to put something on my face. I need a disguise of some kind. What is that? It's a trivia card. Okay, there's something I'm missing. No! I, did, I thought I was going to check out the... Uh, well, hey, the Great Beyond. How you doing? Oh, wonderful. I'm glad that you made it. Tell Ben hi if he's nearby. Hey, that kind of rhymed. Huh. Let's go here. Oh, he's doing a test stream? It's faded over the years, but it still says private property. Okay. Murray? Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh, it's just a rancid skull. I'll keep this for the voodoo lady. Oh, wonderful! Oh, Elaine loves daisies. I'll take these for Elaine. Uh, oh. Uh, remind me again when we get rid of three wood. You have the memory of a gnat with a concussion. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it, that's all. Once we find the secret, you can have him. Ha! They won't get the chance. As soon as the map is visible, I'm grabbing it and getting out of here. I think I'll use my second favorite cutlass. I don't want to ding up the best one. Are you still talking about Threepwood? Possibly. I respect that. Betrayal always gives me goosebumps. Good thing I'm gonna strike first. I think this is going to help me. I think he's playing Ocarina of Time first. I want to be sure you understand. We're going to share this. The secret? The reap what you clown. I haven't killed anyone since we got here and I'm feeling itchy. Both of you just remember to wait until we've got eyes on the secret. By which time the map and I will be long gone. So can I chat hey, with them? Hey, partners. Hey, partner. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? No, but I do need... Yeah, I ran into some trouble boarding the ship. Is it the enchantment keeping you off? Good news. We get to kill him after all. No, that's not it. I lost my eye patch disguise, so the crew knows it's me, and they won't let me back on. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell that can do that. There we go. I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from the others. Oh, oh. I already found a secret thing from one of the crew. Gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? Like chomping worms or colorful germs. I can see why someone would want to keep this a secret. It's drivel. It's perfect. I did something! Hurry! Hurry! Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic! Thanks! Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, will do. That's very sweet to hear about, Kristen. What a nice little story. I used to love watching my dad play video games, too. It's what made me love games and want to play like this, is watching, is because from watching my dad. Me oh, meanwhile. This can't be right. Isn't that a mop tree? I didn't realize you were on a mop quest. Not since my college days. And then I was just experimenting. That's not important right now. 
Someone messed up, and I think I know who. I think he knows we stole his map. Yeah, I agree. Oh, <laughs> good grief, great peon, you're watching three? Okay, I'm gonna take a quick little potty break. I've been drinking a lot of Canadian Dry. Be right back. Awesome, great beyond. You're a, you're a good supporter. Thank you for doing all of that. Okay, that means that we can recite the disguise poem. Like chomping worms or colorful germs, ideas fill my head. The poems flow as roses grow, creatively undead. That actually was kind of nice. All right, up we go. Permission to come aboard? Go it. I thought we'd lost you. still feeling the sting of your knife. I got the knife back, so you let me know if the feeling fades. Your voice sounds funny. <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> still a uh, few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I finally finished the piece I was working on, and I want to block out ten minutes for celebrating on a beach where none of you can find me. Okay. I promise I'll give it my utmost attention. I won't let you down. What? Nothing. You just seem different. Don't let anybody on board or I'll stab you again. I thought for sure she found us out. Oh, let's talk to Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. You smell cleaner than usual. Thanks. Do you happen to know... There we go. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? I'm uh, trying to be more like him. Well, then you should change your catchphrase every few minutes. I have no idea how he keeps track. Okay. Do you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? No, but Putra probably does, seeing as how she's the cook and all. Right. But theme song. Does LeChuck have a theme song? I'm planning a surprise. Surprising LeChuck doesn't sound like a good idea, but he did say something recently about having a theme composed. I don't know if it was ever finished. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Kristen. And that seems to happen to Ben every time he wants to go to bed. Remind me what you said about LeChuck's catchphrase. All right. I'd still like to hear LeChuck's theme song. Well, like I said, I think he was having one composed, but I don't know anything else about it. Oh, yeah. All right. See ya. Well, Petra might know the recipe, so let's go talk to her. There's a thing here. Hey, you! Go it, you tough old slab of crocodile meat! Somehow I knew you'd make it back. Can I fix you something to eat? Plate of brains. Plate of brains? That's my boy. I fixed this for myself, but uh, you can have it. You can eat while we talk. Awesome. 
You cook for LeChuck. Does he have a favorite? There we go. You cook for LeChuck. Does he have a favorite dish? Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yeah. Don't blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Not quite. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, uh, a classic. We have daisies. <laughs> yeah, just here. Take my brain. Can you make me some tentacle sauce? Or tentacles with daisy sauce? Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? I can and I would, but I'm all out of daisies. I have daisies. I, I have daisies. I have daisies. Hey, 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 take my daisies! Can you make tentacles with daisy sauce with these? Nice. They look organic. Have it for you in a jiff. Hey, I didn't get to eat my brains! I was eating that. She took it from me. It's like that server that comes bon to your table and That's takes it? your food Sometimes for you ready. simple is best. Alright. I'd rather not, honestly. Do it anyways! Alright, so we got that. Now we need to know... What's this? It's the theme music Flair was working on. Or something like that. Right. A jaunty little tune like this would be great at parties. So that might be his theme song. So now all we need to know is what his catchphrase is. And I'm wondering if it's in here. I know art is supposed to grab you, but this is taking it too far. Don't touch me! Ooh, what's this book? It's LeChuck's personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. It's fine. Let's read it. Uh, I want to take this veil. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. Mm, you should take it at your wife's veil. Nice. A slideshow of creepy zombie guys. Maybe that's his family. I am really enjoying this new diary that Cutthroat Kelly get, got me. I'm impressed that they would bestow this gift on me given I was the one that cut their throats. I'm going to write it in every day. It's the 5th of June. Time flies when you're having fun, sailing, pillaging, terrorizing, etc. Undead Ted. He does have blonde hair. If Ted had blonde hair, you mean? Crazy times tonight. Crew had a what is your most embarrassing guy breast story game of charades around the big pot. You guys are so just obsessed with guy brush. August 1st. Just crossed the 19th parallel on our way to terrorize Burmada. Ran into a pesky custom ship. Easy to outrun a lob voodoo cannonballs at... August 3rd. Bundle up and went on a deck to do some more star charts. Got a new look at the grog mug. Huh. Arrived at Skull Bay and dropped anchor. Petra is going to make mac and cheese for dinner. If I didn't know better, I'd say she was underperforming on purpose. What's wrong with mac and cheese? What? I love mac and cheese. Attacked and scuttled a mail ship today. Good fun. The sea was covered with tatters of holiday gift wrapping and it looked like an exploded clown. Brought back fond memories, but I seem to have forgotten the name of the clown. Note to self, do more memory exercises. Uh, December 12th. He doesn't do it every day, like he said. There's a bunch of days missing. Trying out a new catchphrase. Plunder the seven timbers. This is much better than the last one. Plunder the seven timbers. The new main sail looks too nice. I'm sending a deckhand up to rip and shred it, so it what, has more of an evil feel. December 20th. Well, he, he's all over the place with these dates. Look, he put his cup here. A new cruise keeps asking why I hate Guybrush. Three wood. 
so much. I can't point to out one thing with Guybrush. It's an endless list of little annoying things with him. Guybrush keeps popping into my life when I least expect it. I rue the day when I first went up against him years ago after he ruined the wedding to my true love, Elaine. She's not your true love. She's our true love. December 25th. Decided to get myself a new catchphrase for Christmas. Brandish my blasphemous bilge. Oh, ho, ho. Hmm. So we got two catchphrases now. Forget to mention crew threw me a birthday party the day after we got the skull bay. I kill hauled them all. Killed needed cleaning anyway. <laughs> okay. January 9th. Thinking more about why I hate Guybrush, he seems to think we're nemesis. Mortal enemies locked in forever combat. True is, truth is, I could care less about him. It's like the mosquito thinking there are nemesis when the mosquito is just an annoying insect to be squished. He is so obsessed with us, with Threepwood Guybrush. Iron Rose called my catchphrase tired this morning, lashed her to the bow spit but have decided to give my bristling beard a try by my bristling beard so we've got three catchphrases that he's given out so far by my Bri and that was january okay i had a long conversation with rose as as we roasted s'mores over burning bodies on the beach of terror island i love that place her point of view is that the more I dismiss Guybrush as a simple irritant, the more it's obvious that he and I are tru truly nemesises. February 2nd. Making a list of all of the reasons I hate Guybrush Threepwood. One, stupid name. Who names their kid Guybrush? That's a good point. Two, thinks he's a mighty pirate and he's neither. Well, he, you don't know. Three, always trying to hunt for the same treasure I am. Four, stole Elaine from me. Uh, was she yours to begin with? Five, he gets more, much better press than I do. Does he? Because the museum never even knew his name. Six, only interested in the glamour of piracy. I walk the walk, he just talks. <laughs> Seven, my ship is a lot better than his. Boy, this guy. You're petty. Here we go. February 14th. Oh, Lil Ain. All these long years, I still yearn for your warmth of your embrace. Guybrush, the day will come and the end of thee is foretold. <laughs> okay, that's uh, Valentine's Day. February 17th. Idea for a new catchphrase. Brandish my blasphemous timbers. Not sure about this one yet. We'll have to sleep on it before I put it into action. March 9th, seagulls circling the ship again today. Normally, giant rats with wings would be my sort of thing, but they try to steal my morning kippers, and while whitewashing the deck to point where none of us can keep our footing. Thinking of conquering the permanent, sto the permanent storm to keep the blasted things at bay. <laughs> Don't like birds. March 12th. The ship is a mess. I'm instituting a new required swabby report. Oh, that was all that paperwork. Where's the end of this book? Oh, he did tic-tac-toe down here. Tested out a, a new punishment technique this afternoon. Whaling hooks were highly effective. We'll need to replace a few crew members, only remembered afterwards. Rose's recommendation not to use the ship's surgeon as one of the test subjects. We'll continue her for an ex we'll, we'll schedule her for an extra few lashings for letting me forget. My goodness. Uh, April 1st, I've decided to give up terrorizing the seas. When we get to the port, I'm going to look into some charity work. Dig up my plunder and pay restitution to my victims. Top of my list is apologizing to Guybrush and giving him a big hug. Really? April Fool's Day. Haha! -ha! Crack myself up. <laughs> Alright, uh, April 9th decided to revise my catchphrase. Threepwood, Threepwood's Ban. Short and sweet. I like it. Threepwood's Ban. Like that must be it. Uh, problem with catchphrase, hearing Threepwood's name too often. I'm going back to the one I had on the 17th. 17th of what? The 17th. I'm going to write that down. 
I think maybe the 17th was the one he kept. I don't know the 17th flat, but we'll have to go back and look. Map to the secret arrived today. Security measures do not seem to be working, but now that it's here on the ship, it can't possibly fall into the wrong hands anyway. I should have had Wally use a personal cipher, but he wanted to bind it tighter to me. We'll have to word with I'll have to have a word with that sniveling little map maker about it once the secret is recovered. Yancey and Mad Flora mentioned Guybrush at dinner. We'll need to hire replacements. Maybe at Melee. Already stopping there for voodoo supplies. May 10th. Made port at Melee. Town folk surprisingly unfazed by the presence of the ship. Miss the old days. Note to self, destroy a few buildings with the cannon fire on our next visit. Oh, here we're at the end. Yeah? Okay. Just came up with a doozy of an insult. He, he, I crack myself up. He, and sent Guybrush to his death. There will be a celebration this eve. Note to self, send my condolences to Ellen. Okay, so let's find the 17th. Right here. We have Brandish. My blasphemy. Blasphemous. Alright, I think that might be the catchphrase that we need. That was a lot of reading. Alright, out we go. It's story time at Amelia's Arcade. And we have all three things now, I think. So let's get out of here. Wait, no, I don't want to go that way first. Let's go down here and see if there's anything we need. Before we leave, let's just make sure. Can I... He boarded it shut. Can I open that? I've come this far without being pecked to death by ghost chickens. Keep your expectations modest, I, I still say. don't know I what... I already have some chicken feed. Chicken feed is for... Thanks, chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? I wonder what that does. Can I get his egg? Oh, his uh, the food is gone. Hold on. So... Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. I'm gonna try that one more time and see if anything happens. It almost seems like the egg is trying to come out every time I feed it. Maybe I need the egg for something? Alright, we're leaving. Chicken's a waste of time. Bye, chicken! Top deck. Alright, let's get back to those guys and see if, um... If, if we can get the map now. Because we gotta be able to uh, give them all of this information. I guess we don't need this outfit anymore. We can look like ourselves again. I wonder how it would be... Oh, we just changed back automatically. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get out of here. I have lots of skulls for some reason. Let's go here. It's exciting. I got all of the stuff gathered. Usually it takes you forever to get that stuff. Uh, remind me again when we get rid of Threepwood. You have the memory of a gnat with a concussion. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it, that's all. Once we find the secret, you can have him. Ha! They won't get the chance. As soon as the map is visible, I'm grabbing it and getting out of here. All right. Hey, partners. Hey, partner. partner. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Okay, I know LeChuck's secrets. Let's do this thing. I think I know LeChuck's crap. Okay, I know all of this. Can I really trust can you? Can I really trust you? Absolutely. I know all of the Chuck's secrets. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play the Chuck's theme music. You're the one who knows how it goes, so you're in charge. 
Your instrument is over there. Watch who you're calling an instrument. Sweet there he boy. is. I might have known you'd be wrapped up in this. It's just your kind of swamp. Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas. Okay, I think we need to put the skulls on these stakes here. I don't know what this is for. Maybe they're gonna sing like a choir? Thanks, Kristen. this arm bone has anything to do with anything. Let's grab it. I bet we have to hit the... Th okay, so here we go. How was your trip to Monkey Island? Damp. People kept dropping me into cauldrons of glop for some reason. But I'll have my revenge on all of them. Especially that withered zombie man on LeChuck's crew. Oh, he doesn't know that was us. That's cool. Okay, so here. Let's give him the music sheet. Oh, or not. Hold on. Do, do, mi, so, fa, fa, re. Okay, so this is what we need to do. Do, do, you're a do, do. Yeah, don't call me a do, do. Do, do, mi, so, fa, fa, re. Okay, I bet you we got to figure out what these stupid skulls sound like. Okay. Heard something. Me. So that's me. Law. We don't even need law. Ray. You're Ray. All right, so he's number one. Ray is number three. Uh, ouch! Hey. Where is that sound coming from? Oh, it's the guys talking over there. Okay. We don't need that one. Uh, six. And then I guess that's seven. Right? Hey, Renee! What's up, sweetheart? Okay. Will y'all stop talking? You're very distracting. By the way, yeah, that's uh, that's hooting. And look, you didn't get timed out. Out now. Okay, so it's two does. Do, do, e. Right, now what? I did it! How's that theme music going? Is there a problem? No, we just finished. I know how the Chuck's theme music goes. Well? It occurs to me that if I tell you the secrets before we do whatever ritual thing it is you're planning, I lose all my leverage. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. Yes, you are. You are the hooting. You are the owl lady. Okay, so we want to do this one. Do, do, be, so, fa, fa, ray. Promising. Next I love up. that. Madison, let's have the map. Did it work? Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Laboris nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say LeChuck's catchphrase. Uh, oh, it was number seven. Oh gosh, it was, um, 
wasn't plunder. I think it was this. Brandish. My blasphemous. Timbers. That's not it. Was it? Now, eat LeChuck's favorite food. Do I have to? Yes. Can't someone else do it? No. Oof. Okay. I'm gonna eat it. Oh. oh. Did we do it right? Wow. Look, there are lines on it. It's working. Who are you? Look, who did you was owl? Oh no, the mop man's running. Who are you? Wow, this dark magic stuff gets kind of intense. Anybody see where the map got to? Not your concern. Thanks for your help. Time to go. Wait. Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? We are the worst pirate. What happened to our deal? There's still time to let me go. Let's talk. Let's take a vote on kicking me off the cliff. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you could ever possibly imagine. Yes. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Noted. Oh. Said Master Kenobi. Maybe the owl will and save now us. now good riddance to Murray, the Maybe annoying not. demonic skull. Wait, I have a family. <laughs> good. Trent, let's have a look at the map again. This is Sparta, that's right. Odd. It was just in my pocket. Never mind. I remember what was on it. We Let's took the map! The secret. Oh. It came from over here somewhere. Oh. What the? Threepwood? So, you survived walking the plank only to stumble off a cliff. I always knew you were a buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. You talk too much. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that, but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck, it's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> Just twitching on a tree trunk. Ugh, this hurts. I think my pancreas is broken. I think my pancreas is broken. I think Possibly so. also my spleen and my gallbladder. It's all broken. Whatever that is. Hello? Is someone here? <gasps> Elaine? Hi, brush. Oh no. Are you okay? That's our wife by the way. It only hurts when I breathe. I think my pancreas, it hurts when I breathe. Depends on your definition of okay. Uh, it only hurts when I breathe. Still, best to keep that up, I think. If I have to. <laughs> what are you doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here. It's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. You've fallen off a cliff. This whole voyage has been a disaster. The last few months have been a waste. I can't com I can't compete with LeChuck or Madison, let alone both. It it's been a disaster. Uh, this whole voyage has been a disaster. 
nothing but humiliation, physical danger, and humiliating physical danger. I keep losing sword fights. I got thrown off a ship and thrown off a cliff on the same day. I got caught in a snare trap meant for LeChuck. My own fault. I had a map. There was an X and a shovel. You didn't find that suspicious? Might as well just lie here and starve to death. I've got a better idea. Come back with me to Scurvy Island. I'll take a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. What difference does it make? Why not? I'm never going to get the secrets now that the map is gone. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. Did somebody say that? Hello? <gasps> Murray took it! Murray! Is that the map to the secret? All of a sudden, we're better. That head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Holy cow! The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island! Change of plan, Elaine. We're going back to Melee. We are? Well, what about all the things you just said? Well, we have the map now. Well, I didn't have the map then. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship. What? Your old ship, I mean. The what? sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. I know, I saw it. I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. What a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? Phoebe, I thought you went to bed. Are you dreaming about Biscuit? <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. You can do the goopy parts. Dibs on a good hammer. Dibs on the good hammer. Race you to the ship. We gotta take Murray with us. Come on, Murray. You got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump. Maybe. Wait, not the pocket. Well, what else do you want us to put you? What time is it there, uh, BB? Oh, she's over here. We have the best wife. Slowpoke. You had a head start. Should we get started? Ready when you are. Have you got the book? Uh, I'll be right back. Did we not pick up the book? Uh, we did not pick up the book. Well, we'll be right back. My bad. I don't know where we were. Here? Yeah, there it is. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like right. it was written just for me. Let's leave. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I'm sorry, BB. Anytime you're ready, Guybrush. Should we get started? Ready when you are. Let's get the book. What do we do with it? Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. Like it was written just for me. Okay, so what do we do? Should we get started? Ready when you are. Do we go to the ship then, I guess? People repair ships all the time. How hard could it be? The sea monkey. Wow. People repair ships so do all I the just, time. Hold on. How hard could it be? Here we go. Well, we're here for you, BB. I'm so glad that wasn't my stream that just did that. Stop that. Well, we did what we could with the materials at hand. Oh, oh I God. love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. There, the book is. <laughs> oh, my. Oh man, this is funny. What's with all those keys? We need all those keys, I'm guessing? This ship is the worst ship ever. What is she throwing out? We need a real repairman, I think. That ship yeah. is put together like bubble gum. Would medicine or would <gasps> ship to be here by now? Oh my goodness, look at the damage. Oh no! I got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. Hey, You're not hurry. coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. Uh, 
watch the ship for me. Uh, bite anyone who tries to steal it. You're fine. There aren't any scrap lumber dealers on Melee. <laughs> Why is... what happened? <laughs> Did you feel the earthquake? I was too busy running for my life. Hey, Ben. <laughs> uh... Great Beyond came by and told us what was going on. You were testing your stream, and then you went to go to sleep, and everyone showed up. It's 721. You saved the cookbook. Yes, I saved the cookbook. The ceiling was collapsing, the building was on fire, people running everywhere, and I saved the cookbook. Cool. You're welcome. Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. I don't imagine I'll have much use for it oh, That's now. right, that belongs to the mayor lady. How come you're still here? The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. Not done with my drink. That's, that's very late, BB. Halfway to Melee Island. Well, you guys work that out while we'll go talk to the voodoo lady. Give up now, old man. The secret will be ours. I've been searching for the secret since before you were born. That's exactly my point. Finding the secret is a young pirate's game. of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine. Only if you don't have a heart attack first. Ha! Last chance to give it up. Then we obliterate you. Arr. Get off my ocean! A guy with 380 subs was streaming on Twitch to say my stream was by working. Your crosswind ramming I'll technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I am still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up and bone was protruding from his leg. Animals have probably already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other and we join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. Uh-oh. <laughs> you can't trust a pirate. All right. So, Ben, did you mean that someone raided your stream? Someone who had 300k subs? Or they stopped by your stream just to say, hey, your stream is working? The statement was a little confusing to me. Also, the... <laughs> <laughs> I remember you telling me that you had voted for Splatoon, and that that is completely fine. The good news for you, though, is I'm probably playing it next weekend for Splatfest. He just stopped by and said hi. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad he stopped by just to say, hey, your stream is working. Am I too late? Was LeChuck here? Did Madison come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? Oh, this cabinet here. Yeah, I'll bet the secret of Monkey Island is in there. It just has to be. That's awesome, Ben. all this time. I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here. What is it you wish to know? Can't you read my mind? Can't you read my mind? No need. I can read your face well enough. The secret is where you suspect it is. Inside the large safe near the front door. I don't think so. It depends. So, the way YouTube typically works is if the person that went to your channel likes Ocarina of Time or Zelda stuff and watches it a bunch, 
the fact that you were playing it means that it would run in his feed because according to YouTube's algorithm, if he's watching or playing a lot of Ocarina Time, they think that's what he want to see. And so, or Nintendo 64 games, whichever you tagged your, your stream with though. So not really. It would depend on his viewing, uh, whatever habits. Why did you take the secret? Okay. Where are the keys to the safe? Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Ah. Uh, but there is one close by who knows much. How do I find him? Her. And she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. Why did you take the secret? Doesn't it belong on Monkey Island? I have taken nothing. The safe came to me as you see it and belongs to someone else. I accepted a fee and cast a spell upon it to prevent it being moved. That is all. Okay. Who owns the safe? Who owns the safe? Alas. There are forces which prevent me from revealing the true owner. A contract signed in blood with gruesome punishments for disclosure. Some kind of a voodoo thing? No. Okay. How could you keep this secret from me? How could you keep this a secret from me? You knew I was looking for it. It is not a secret from you, Guybrush Threepwood. It is a secret. Full stop. I am bound by an agreement. Thank you, Ben, for the congratulations. I'm very excited. I just hope it sticks. That's why I'm not doing a huge celebration, because a lot of times with the way my subs work is... I'll gain a bunch of subs and then lose a bunch of subs. So I'm waiting to see if it sticks for longer than a day or two. <laughs> Have LeChuck and Madison Have been LeChuck here? Have LeChuck or Captain Madison been here? No. That's weird. They were well, way ahead of me. Sometimes it's better to have two enemies than one. But you should not waste time. Okay. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers. But I make no promises. The answer is yes, unless no is required. That's what I always say. Yeah. yeah. Why did you do You uh, found the secret. Oh, you hi. You are a spark among fallen leaves. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, I'm pretty excited. Hold on to that feeling. I am wider lean bones. Hmm? Whitey. Like you, the hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you. I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. I'm honored. I'm so happy. How did I do that? I'm very glad. Headaches are the worst. That's great. That just means that you have to watch more Amelia's Arcade to keep the headache away. <laughs> how to open the safe. How do you open the safe? How do you, how do you open the how safe? How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys, hidden long ago. Hey, Joe, you still hanging out? What do the golden keys look like? I know what they look like. They were the beginning of this chapter. Where can I find the golden Where keys? Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher, too. Also, I heard one was found on Bermuda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. This doesn't sound so hard. A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also, Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. Okay, did you guys see the guy in the window? All right, what? Do the we already know what they look like. Can I borrow the key you have? Why is the secret in the safe instead of Monkey Island? That sounds delicious. I haven't had dinner yet, and I don't know what I'm gonna have. I might have a burrito. Depending on if I'm feeling frisky enough to go up to the taco shop and get myself a burrito. Could you repeat what you said about all of the keys? See you around. Why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Do you know? Secret's always been in the safe. Uh-huh. Interesting. 
How come I never heard about any of this before? I'm kind of a secret of Monkey Island buff. You'd think I'd know about it. The clues were buried deep and clever. Only a few ever puzzled them out, and we keep ourselves to ourselves. Everything is free now. Um, let's just go ahead and What do the golden keys look like? They're gold. It's just paint, but they look nice. Can I borrow the key you have, just to try it out? Not so fast, bright boy. Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. <laughs> you prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you've got more keys than I do, and maybe I talk partnership. All right. We'll, we'll have. Okay. This all seems need needlessly complicated. You seem more lucid than hanging out. You the seem more lucid than when you were hanging out of the window on High Street. We all got our good days and our bad ones. Came into that. If you don't know already, then you'll see. All right. This all seems needlessly complicated. Life is like that sometimes. Let's just enjoy the ride. Wee. See you around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. You are a crazy lady. Oh, A curse? Really? No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. Whitey likes to make a big exit. Well, one thing's for sure. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Yeah, she's a fast little old lady. Okay, I'm going to go to the mayor's house and return her cookbook and see if I can get anything out of her from that. Can I go in there? It's a fish shop. We can go in there. We'll go in there in just a minute. I want to go to the mayor's house first. She got so mad at us last time because we never, ever, ever, uh-oh, we turned her cookbook. Hey! Thanks, Carla. Good luck. Guybrush! Hi! I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. Let's talk later. Wait, don't okay. we need to go to Scurvy Island? I know we need to go to Terror Island. Hey, I have your cookbook. Do you want it back? Thank you. It looks like you tried to cook the book instead of the recipe. That's not my well, fault. Well, I should be thankful I'm getting it back at all. Next time you can just put it in the bookshelf yourself. But then I wouldn't have got credit. It's a lot of work being governor. How about that earthquake? I was a little worried about the mansion being built on a precarious cliff and all. The mansion's fine. And so am I. Thanks for asking. Well, you look fine. You're sword fighting us. Have you seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically handing out IOUs. That stinks. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Is there anything over here I need? Endless voyage. Treasure maps. Ship to ship combat strategies. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. We returned the cookbook. Hold on, let me see. Is there another one we want? The autograph. Oh, I don't care about John Laney. Thank you. Thanks for returning my book. Oh. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. I can only take one at a time. I'm taking this one first. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. She has a guy brush. <laughs> Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. <laughs> Sorry. I got you. I got pulling. All right. Um, I'm not going to wait in line. You're waiting for earthquake relief? Waiting for. Not expecting. 
And you'd better not be looking to jump the line. I wouldn't dream of it. Those who cut, get cut. We didn't want relief. We just needed to return a book. Chill yourself. Um, I want to go back here with the book I got. One, I want to see if there's anything to say to her, because she's a cool lady. Welcome back. Hi. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I, well, I, you're mean. Hello again. Can I get another key made? Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older. Okay. Did your mother find any of those golden keys she was looking for? One. She left it to me in her well. But the keys up here. I'm wondering, yeah. Okay. Uh-uh. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. That old thing? Really? Uh, I'll trade you a ship. I'll cut you in a 20% share of the monkey. Uh, let's see this. I'll trade you a ship. The sea monkey, too. It's a gem. I'm sure it is. Listen, if it means that much to you, just take it. Yes! <gasps> that was surprisingly easy and uncomplicated. Don't get used to it. Life's not like that very often. That's cool. I'm so glad we walked in here. All right, let's go. So we have a key. We have a key. Right, let's go in the fish shop. What are they throwing fish? Welcome to the Cod's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the freshest fish on the block and the freshest company as well. Whether you're here to buy or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Gabber Streetwood. Ah. I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked passing familiar. <laughs> so these guys used to be the pirate leaders. The shop seems nice. If by nice you mean a glorious cathedral to the fine art of fishing, then I quite agree. Have a, a look here. around, why don't you? Okay. Uh... What are these little yellow guys? They're lump suckers. Easy to eat and great for sucking out cysts and boils. Can we have one? I'd like to buy some lump suckers. Cute little fellas, aren't they? Here's a box mm. full. Should be plenty. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. Okay. What about these? What are these? Are these eels? Hagfish. Very tasty. Mm, hagfish. But don't let them get round your neck. Okay, can I take one of these? I'd like to trade my fish in for some hagfish. Fine choice. Okay, so this is like I'll the book. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. So each one of these fish... Um. How much for the goldfish? Sushi's a pet. She's not for sale at any price. Her name is Sushi. She's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. What's going on? The Chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. All right. Can, oh, can we be a chum? Can I join the Chums? I feel as though I should warn you that this being the more casual mode of the game, participation in the chums is strictly for fun. There'll be no reward whatsoever for doing it successfully. Totally useless activity. Got it. Can I join anyway? Well... I love useless activities. I can tell a good story. Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. 
Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can. Then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. Well, thank you for telling me where to start. And that's right, Ben, you could. Um, you guys fish. You have ever heard of someone called Bella Fisher? You guys fish. Have you ever Ooh. heard of someone called Bella Fisher? Bella Fisher. Aye, she could spin a yarn from Port Royal to Trinidad and back again. And a consummate angler she was. What? Good at fishing. She had a secret fishing spot she did. More bounteous than the whole rest of the sea together. She probably rests there now, being as she did disappear on a fishing trip. No one knows the location. Though tis rumored that she left a clue as to its whereabouts. Where? Where's the clue? Uh... Did Bella Fisher ever show you a big fancy key? No, I don't think so. Not to my memory. Just thought I'd check. Tell me again about Bella mm. Fisher's fishing spot. They say she left behind a clue as to where it was, but no one knows what sort of clue that'd be. All rumors, of course, probably mm. nothing to it. Hmm. I don't want to trade in my fish. All right, let's just go. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. All right, this was a fun little stop. This is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, oh. the windows need some work. Yeah, they do. I think that's where they got married. Uh, do you have anything we need? Browse. Oh. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. <laughs> It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. The first rule of piracy is never buy a used treasure map. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says rating cursed black diamond. I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. Ooh, looks chilly up there. It's a long, small map of somewhere far, far away. What's this a map of? The secret movements and activities of my competitors. That sounds reasonable. That sounds weird. I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. <laughs> okay. Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. So, do you have a way for us to get somewhere? Hey, Wally. Have you got a sea map local area? Have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. Awesome. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. Okay. Get three hands. Be careful. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. No. Not many pirates want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we got what we needed. Hey, Wally. What's in these boxes? Maps. Okay. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Why does that keep happening? Stop it. All right, let's go. If I touch the edge of the thing, it will make it go down. 
Yeah. That was that. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to play this today, just to have a chill day. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. Maybe if I show you this. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. I was swallowed by a whale. My ship was swallowed by a whale. You know, what your story needs is a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? We're having a conversation. Could you pipe down? Okay. I had just broken through a blockade. The pirate hunter M Morgan Le Fay had my first mate at Sword Point. Sword Point. I was up in the crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew was restless. I was in a park talking to my son. I was in a park talking to my son. Dad, be serious. Okay, okay. But that was cute. All right, uh, this one. I had just broken through a blockade, and then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Yeah, that's the way. Obviously, you're new at this, but don't worry. Other chums can show you more of the ropes. Okay. All right, that seems like a little side thing. I really... I... Don't get any funny ideas while I'm away from the hey, ship. Sir. No problem. I'll pretend I'm one of the writers. Okay, so so far we only have one key. It's one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. Hmm. Wanted. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who destroyed the historic mop tree. I'll, uh... Keep an eye out for them. That was us. We, we, we did that. It wasn't. It wasn't very pleasant. Oh, see, there's the there's the owl. Hi there, little guy. Hi there, little guy. The museum. I wonder if he has a key. <gasps> what happened? It's the Museum of Pirate Lore, but it says it's closed. But why? The light's off. Looks like they're closed. Okay, well, I guess there's not a key there. Well, since now we have a... No, we don't want to go that way. Now that we have a map... Shipyard... What's here? Did we go here? Stan's building collapsed! This place looks like an earthquake hit it. Yes, it did. There's a torn picture in here. This half shows Stan himself. All right, we got a picture of Stan. Stan the man. All right, I thought it said I could criticize. I think they've captured Stan quite well, actually. They did a nice job with the coat. <laughs> All right, so that looks like an anchor. It's sad to see the shipyard like this. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan. Okay, let's go to Scurvy first, since it's closer. <laughs> You're yeah. right. It won't budge. It's magic. Strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't uh -oh. even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. 
I'll stay here to keep an eye on a safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Where'd the voodoo lady go? Stop it. <laughs> Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. Of course. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Uh oh. You leave the map maker alone. He's just a sweet little redheaded dude. Ah, Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. All right, we're going to find Elaine and then we're going to end the stream for the night so that I can go eat some dinner and enjoy the rest of my Friday. It says the Marley Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy Island, 1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. I haven't decided yet. I was thinking maybe a burrito. Okay, let's see. Cascading waterfalls? I got swept over the edge one time. Oh. Good thing Elaine knows CPR. Yeah. Big rock. Elaine and I debate about whether it looks like a parrot or a cockatoo. Uh, I think it looks like... Well, the hook down is a parrot. I wonder if she's over here. Elaine? Are you decent? Hello? Yeah, you did. Good job. Hi, I'm working due west of the lake and due north of the waterfall today. Okay. Hey, this used to be a picture of both of us. What happened to the me part? That's a good question. You gotta find the me part. Ooh. I pinched a yak with it once, and then I sort of accidentally pinched the staple remover. I had it for years before I remembered to give it back to Elaine. She was happy and mad at the same time. Mappy. Pirates used to have to steal this from Elaine to prove themselves. No, at least that's what they told me when they made me do it. <laughs> Hello, Sheer. How are you doing, sweetheart? Welcome on in. Does that mean she's right here? Let's read that real quick. Uh, okay, I, I think she'd be over here. Can we get over there? Wow. Elaine sure has been busy. Hey! It's a torn painting of me. This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. There. Okay. She wasn't here. Maybe. That's where all the driftwood goes during driftwood mating season. I want to read this sign again. Elaine and I swim there sometimes. Elaine and I swim there some. Elaine and I debate about whether it looks like a parrot or a cockatoo. These groves go on forever. Hold on. Can I not read? Okay. Hi, I'm working due west of the lake and due north of the waterfall today. West of the lake and north. Okay. That's here. Where do I find the myth groves? Where do we find Elaine? Where is she? That's where all the driftwood goes during what? driftwood mating season. Can we do <laughs> Where is Elaine? That's awesome. Thank you for stopping by. I'm trying to find our, we're trying to find our wife. She said she was west and then north, which is here, which is where I went, but she doesn't seem to be here. There's east. I'm backwards. Hold on. She doesn't seem to be anywhere. There she is. Hi. Hi. 
I was hoping to run into you again. I got the note you left. I got the note you left me. The what? It said where you were working today. Oh, that. I wasn't sure you were coming. But I'm glad you found me. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? Not yet, but I'm closer than ever. I just have to gather a few golden keys together and I'm good to go. That sounds promising. What about LeChuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see, but people are refusing to take them. They say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict, but as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Okay. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know. I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. Have you tried using a different... Have you tried using a different font? Comic Sans, for example. Yes, but I need a small one to fit all the information on. Oh, good grief. What about adding bullet points? They could be little limes. People not liking limes is part of the problem, though. Good point. What if the text was centered instead of left justified? Somehow I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. True. Uh, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. Maybe. All right, she actually has one of these. Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush, you've joined the chums. I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, nah. let's hear what you got. Okay. We broke through a blockade. I just broken through a blockade. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay, here we go. Okay. So we broke through a blockade. I had just broken through a blockade. And then, all of a sudden, we were swallowed by a whale. My ship was swallowed by a whale. And then, a guy already inside thought I wanted to steal his girlfriend. It was gross inside, soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. It started to crack the ship in half. The crew wanted to have her for dinner. I mistook what they meant. Uh. Yes, it does, because you always feel so stuck for so long, and then when you finally make progress, you're like, okay, I did it. Yeah, this one. The crew wanted to have her for dinner. I mistook what they meant. Morgan Le Fay and I said we were married, so I'd seem unavailable. I made a fishing line with my own hair. I lit a hole on fire in Flambe's head so it would burn the underwater. Fortunately, most people have no idea what mermaid tastes like. Let's see this one. I lit the hole on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. I think you've got it. Well, I think this is really good for you. You should find some other chums to share your gift with. I'll do that. All right, perfect. So is that it? Hold on. Oh, this. How sweet. You put the painting of us back together again. I think you should keep it. Aw, okay. What else? Uh, did we get rid of the other picture? Odd. Planes no. That's a lot. They say lime does help with that. Scurvy is not good. All right, let's go out of here. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. We're gonna look for the keys another night so that I can get some dinner in me because I'm getting a little hungry. 
And as always, guys, thank you all so much for coming. I've really enjoyed tonight. It's been a nice, chill stream. Everyone that came by has been super chill, super nice. Thank you all so very much for coming. I've really enjoyed it. And remember, tomorrow I'm going to the fair. So there's no streams tomorrow. I won't be in line tomorrow at all. I'm going to enjoy the fair and the outside and the sun on my face. So you guys are so very welcome. Thank you all for coming. I really have enjoyed it. We've made a lot of progress. We have a lot of keys to find because we got to get that secret before they do. Of course, I think Guybrush already has the best treasure. He's got Elaine. I really think he should just help her. And But whatever. Anyways, good night, everyone. Love you lots and have a wonderful Friday. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah. See you guys.